Hello Internet and welcome to Grind, a YouTube gaming channel that is the brainchild of four people who just love to game and want to give everyone the privilege of watching us do it. Hope that little intro didn't uh, set us up for a big fall now, but um, speaking of fall, today we're going to play Fallout. We're going to play the latest DLC at this date at this point in time from Bethesda which is the Wasteland Workshop add-on. So I'm just going to continue and sit back, relax and enjoy me playing Fallout. Sleeping in a bed with a romantic companion nearby will grant you the lover's embrace perk which grants significant boosts to any earned XP for a limited time. Yes it does. I have two companions like that in this playthrough which I keep in separate settlements because I have no idea what will happen if they get them together I can't I can't see it being good I think it's nice to be able to uh, one one's in the castle no one's in Sanctuary Hills and one is here and it's nice to be able to bounce between settlements and be able to get that kind of ex it's, it stops standing around do something God 28 people in this place and all they do is stand around doing nothing Although they do make caps for me, thankfully, because I spend a bajillion caps on this place. Alright, so there doesn't seem to be any kind of instruction as to what to do, or where should I go, or do I have uh, 50 caps? Lads, you're not pulling your weight at all, seriously. Okay, I took the broom, didn't want to take the broom. So, what do we got? What do we got? We've got special... I need aluminium. Why am I not surprised? I need aluminium. Yes, I did pronounce it both ways, so no one will be able yes. to comment and say, No, it's aluminium. No, it's aluminium. Who cares as long as we know what we're all saying. Alright. So, I'm going to go to Diamond City. Even though I was just there, I should have remembered to do that. And see if any of the stores are open to see if I can get a shipment of aluminium and see if we can get these creature cages going because I'm really not too sure what's involved like objective wise in this in this download in this DLC but normally I'm a bit of a trophy hunter myself thanks to one other people one other person in this group Ross yeah yeah he got me into trophy hunting and normally I see I follow my objectives through the trophies so at some point, I'll just have a look at the trophies and go, right, that's what Bethesda expects you to do in this one. Even though this one is probably not very mission-based, it being a, a settlement workshop DLC. Right, where are we going? Okay, the shop's open. No, no, just one. Okay, what time is it? AM. Ugh, I guess I can wait for a second. Can I, stand? Can I sit here and wait? Stool, sit. Uh, wait. Yeah, three hours maybe. Yes, I'm the idiot in the Adam Cat's jacket, just sitting there for three hours waiting for the shop stop. Oh, I am not defending anything, thank you. Not right now. That is not why I'm here. You need perfection. Everyone does. Ah, uh, Barrett. Let's see what you have. Something for everyone. So, what do we got? Aid, miscellaneous, junk. There we go. Shipment of aluminium. Cost and accept and. Okay. Now, I've never done that before. Normally, I visit a workbench for our station to retrieve your shipment. Here. Okay. Cool. Look, just so let's do that. I have actually never done that before. I was I was a big, big hoarder when uh, when when I first got this game and. I just had enough to do whatever I wanted by the time I was finished because I didn't craft anything or do any upgrades. I just, I just f didn't really bother me. I was just main storyline and side questing it the whole way through because um I never played Fallout until Fallout Four. I have never played three, New Vegas, none of them, and I have gotten completely sucked into the universe like no one's business. Just throwing it out there that uh, I haven't played this DLC, except for 
when I was playing it earlier on in the first part. So we're going to experience everything together. For oh Jesus, the shipment of aluminum was gone. Alrighty. Oh, it requires power. Okay, I have a lot of power here, but ugh, there's always more. Attach a wire to where I'm probably gonna move it. Or move it to the center of the square here. No, no, I know where I'm gonna move this to now. Ah, should have kept onto it. I got a bit of a place out back for things like this. Things I want to keep away from the central population. Ah, see, look, generators coming up the wazoo. But uh, I don't want to use any of them. They're all doing something, so I'll put that there and we'll see if we can throw another Jenny somewhere here. Uh, that's not where I go. Power, generators. It needed six, so we'll build a ten. I know we have this. Well, I'm missing something. Why can't I build this? Ah, uh, science. <sighs> I need more intelligence. I went for charisma over intelligence on this one. Not quite sure why. It keeps coming back to bite me in the zone, so... Alright, so, attach wire. And attach wire. Okay. So we got that. Now, can we see what this does? This is nice. Okay. Uh, this this is the resources manager I've been waiting for. It's kind of a fusion course. Nice. Okay. Right. So what we'll do is we'll go back to the workshop. Oh, I should have put it closer to the workshop. Now I'm gonna be over and back and over and back and oh, I can sprint. And I'm going to see what exactly we need to build what we need to build. Cages. Okay. So we've got small cages. I need cat cage, dog cage, canned dog food. Oh, I can't build any of them. And you have to build one for each creature. Okay. Okay, that's funny. I'll give it that. Is, 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 are they considered creatures in this? Maybe, maybe not. Large cages. Arena! We need to build arenas. Yes, we do. We need to get a space for arenas. Like I said, in this... Oh, no. There's more I have to unlock. Okay. Wait, one thing at a time. We'll do something simple. Get an objective for the vid. Okay. Let's see if we can... Cat cage. Alright, let's go with that one. So I need soft shell market. Can I get that through the resource manager? Nope. That's not how you do that. So what would that be under? I actually don't think it'll be here, will it? No. Unless I'm missing something. Call I bash. Fix it. This DLC is gonna take a while. Oh, if only I was still on the quest for the mechanist. This video might just mm, don't much care for it. might be a little bit more entertaining. Okay, we'll, we'll wait for that iBot to come back and uh, we'll go from there. I have been through the workshop menu and there is so much to this DLC and there's actually a lot I have to do to even prepare to do anything. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build a cage. Just hold. There we go. Okay, build a cage but it's going to be for... is it a raider? I think it was medium cages. It, it, it's one of the one of the few cages. No, I'm gonna do it for um. Uh, not a ranger cage. There was one more. Bear with me a second now. I saw it a second ago. And ah, there we go. We'll build this cage. And we'll see what happens. Requires power. Okay. So 
will build it up where I actually have a genie that could power it. Because it's also powering the iBot. I f keeps forgetting I can sprint. I don't know how I keep forgetting. Ah, uh, because it uses up. It uses up your. What is it? Action points. Yeah. And I got into the habit of not sprinting, so I wouldn't use them up. Yeah, that makes sense now. That makes sense now. Large cages. Is that where we're going? It is. Okay. So. Can I build it somewhere here? Anywhere here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm going outside the cage. I'm going out. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. So, anywhere here. Anywhere here? Anywhere? At all? Why is Why? Uh, okay, we got green, but I'd rather turn it this away. Turn it this way. Okay, I leveled up. And we've got instructions. Cages let you capture a variety of creatures and enemies. Cages will only work when powered. They have a chance to catch something while you sleep or when you are away from your settlement. You will usually catch something within a week or less. Oh, we might have a lot of waiting to do. Once caught, once you've caught something in your cage, you can release it whenever you want by cutting the power to the cage. The cage will also be opened if it is damaged. Note that things having creatures and enemies will increase the chance of your settlement being attacked. Okay, that's fair enough. Some captured creatures are always tame. Some are hostile unless you have a bait. Yeah, I'll have to see exactly what I need in the perks for that. Internal captures release. Captured release. Our super mutants are always hostile. That is not a surprise. So I have to attach a wire. Where is the Jenny? Boom. And boom. So that's that powered. We'll see how that works out. So now I have to go up. I I'm after going up a level, so perk would be nice. Exit on that one. I want to actually stay in that one. I want to see exactly what I need. Uh cages for the Oh, but by the way, I need Animal Friend and Wasteland Whisper level 1. Okay. Let's go for that then. And no. Oh. Does anyone ever else get anyone else ever get this glitch where your pit boy won't come up when you're in the workshop until you do something else? It's actually really, really irritating. So if I go back here and I press square, for example, then exit. Even though I'm still in the menu, suddenly, boom. Pit by works. Very, very irritating. It slows the pace of the game when you're working in the workshop. So annoying. So uh, animal friend and with so I'll pick one. We'll pick animal friend first, I guess. Yeah. So that's that. So now we play the waiting game. Oh, you can attempt to patch for the second targets when you aim your gun and then press. Oh, okay. And then press X. That's news to me. If you try targets lower, though, be careful when you select. If you attempt, maybe become hostile. Okay. That's good to know. So we're playing the waiting game. If you ain't been up to see Grey Garden, you should go. Uh, you wanna see you wanna see my bobblehead collection? There it is. Went around and got them all. Had to. Platinum the game. Yes, I sound very excited about doing that. But I actually was at the time. Even though I had to start it again to get it because the railroad trophies glitched for me. I couldn't activate the last mission where I'd worn Desdemona. It was quite annoying. Uh, there's a jukebox. This is where I can look over the settlement. Lights everywhere. Shops everywhere. Come down here. And I actually have a chair for waiting. Up there. When I was doing the 100% happiness in any settlement, I tried to wait. I waited here for days and days and days and days and days. Like I said in the last video, it didn't work out. I ended up using the Red Rock, Red Rocket Truck Stop. And it worked fine. There's in here. 
power, people, they're a bit cramped, but there's 28 people here and the, the settlement is already nearly full, so they're fine. They're fine. So I'm going to cut the video here and we, I will get back to you if and when I eventually catch something in here. So, until next time, I'll be seeing you. Hello Internet, Danny here from Grind Gaming. Thank you very much for watching our latest video. If you want regular updates from the channel, and I think you do, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you saw in this one, be sure to check out our other videos on the channel. The links are somewhere here. I'm sure I'm started using the annotations by now, but wherever they may be, be sure to click on them. If you have any suggestions for what content you would like to see in our channel, be sure to contact us. Until next time, I'll be seeing you.